Hello, I'm Danette Hutchinson, and this is At His Feet Bible Study. I am so excited. We are close to the finish line, guys. We are close to the finish. We are almost at day 10, and that appendix that I was telling you about, you're going going to absolutely love. We are on day eight today talking about easy does it. The scripture reference we've been using is Matthew 11 verses 28 through 30. Let me read it once again for you. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. And today we are going to be discussing very shortly, my yoke is easy. Let's talk about this word easy. I know there are some days where we just want an easy does it day. Amen. And so this, this um, definition of easy is, of course, not hard or difficult, but it means a lot more than that. It means requiring no great labor, no great effort. Now it does require labor and it does require effort, but no great labor or no great effort. In other words, you don't have to overexert yourself. Amen. Free from pain, discomfort, worry, or care. This is the yoke of the Lord. This is that yoke that we talked about in prior videos about taking his yoke up on us and learning from him. That's what's happening while we're sitting at his feet. We are learning from him. Amen. According to the will and the way and the purpose of God. Remember, this ministry is about women embracing the plan, the purpose, and the place that God has given us for now and for future generations to come, literally leaving a legacy for the ladies coming forward. Amen. And so this um, yoke is easy, free from pain, discomfort, free from worry, free from care, free, 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 free. We love free, don't we? Providing or conducive to ease or comfort or comfortable. I like to say like a comfortable pair of shoes. That's literally how I'm relating this yoke of the Lord, like a comfortable pair of shoes. It's not pinched anywhere. It's not causing any pain. You don't feel like, you know, you can't take another step. No, his yoke is easy. It's not difficult. It's not burdensome. It's not too heavy to carry. It is not too heavy to bear. Amen. It is comfortable. Isn't that interesting that a yoke that is meant to yoke you together and move you forward and yet is comfortable, it's easy to bear, it's light, it's not hard, it's not harsh, it's not, you know, it's, it doesn't cause you to, to sweat your hairdo out. <laughs> Amen. The purpose of the yoke, if you remember the purpose of the yoke, you will find great delight in the fact that his yoke is easier. Remember the purpose of the yoke is to cause us to move forward without much effort, without much overexerting ourselves, amen? And so today on day eight, you have an opportunity to share a personal experience. Can you recall a time when the yoke you took upon yourself was anything but easy. I want you to consider that. Think about that for today's day eight and let the Lord minister to your heart. In Jesus name, I'll see you tomorrow.